What is the Navy looking for and how does your offering uh, match up to those requirements? Sure. Well, the Navy has a unique set of requirements because all of the pilots and all the, the environment they fly in, everything's over water. And if you fly over water at night, you don't have to do it more than once to realize you're really in an instrument environment when you're doing it, regardless of whether you're flying with MVGs on or not. And the key component to naval aviation training is to be able to fly in instruments and in conditions where you don't have a visible horizon and looking outside the aircraft doesn't help you. Um, so they have indicated that that is their key requirement. They want a commercial off-the-shelf aircraft for undergraduate training that's an IFR certified platform. And uh, currently they, they have a long tradition of having single engine training aircraft. They've been very successful with it. Uh, it keeps the training simple. It keeps the cost down. Uh, and in fact, if you add another engine, typically it adds complexity to the training and it limits what you can do. So, so the Navy has indicated a preference towards a single engine, but IFR being the key component uh, is what they're after. Um, our, our proposed offering we provided if the, if, the, if the RFP came out today is for, we call it the TH-119. Uh, it's a variant of our popular AW-119KX. It's a single engine, full spectrum training aircraft. And by full spectrum training, it means that it's one single configuration. You can do all the flights in that syllabus, in that one configuration of aircraft, which again, Reduce, reduces the the, uh, the complexity and the the the, have to, the ability to have to manage multiple type model series, whether you're talking about students, instructor pilots, maintenance, everything. But the TH-119 can handle everything from teaching uh, a student in his first flight how to hover all the way through advanced tactics, doing uh, NVGs, instrument flying, and on and on until you put wings on her chest and send them off to the fleet.